How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm on AQ3D and I'm showing you how to get gold. Now this is for new players and um, so if you're a veteran player these tips you might already know so I do apologize for that. So as a new player I highly suggest you focus on leveling up before actually getting gold uh, because once you reach max level uh, some of the quests will give you better gold and it'll be a lot easier to do as a max level character. So um, yeah but if you really need gold like like now as a low level character you can do your dailies now these dailies give you 4k gold per day so to do your dailies what you want to do is talk to Twilly um, he is a red mongolin outside Batlon next to uh, Artix not outside inside Batlon but um, yeah you want to go talk to him and then he will have this to go to the daily boss fight now this changes every day so once we load in we have the skull tower bridge now this just does change every day so um it might be different when you're watching this video so um you want to go talk to the npc he's usually by the spawn point of all the players so um you want to go talk to him and then you want to do the quest now i can't really show you the quest just because i already done it today but uh, it gives you 4k gold and 2k almost 3k xp and what it needs you to do is kill 12 spiders and the boss and you can see the boss in the middle right here now um this is usually easy to do because you usually have like a lot of players with you so um don't have to really worry and it does scale your level to the room so if you're level 5 or anything it'll scale you to level 21 which is useful so there we go the boss is dead and um, yeah this is really easy I don't really need to over explain it you just need to kill the enemies and kill the boss um, I think there's 12 spiders you need to kill and then you need to kill the boss once and after you've done that you can turn in the quest to get your 4k gold and your 3k XP so um, this is really good for the new players who need a little bit of gold so our next area is Ashfall. Now in Ashfall you want to go to the Magma Mines. Now these enemies are pretty high. These are level 16 I believe. If I go tab on someone. Yeah level 16. So yeah if you're like level 5 these guys are going to go kill you. And um, yeah so just be careful. Make sure you're high enough level just to survive or just to run past these guys. Because uh, what we're looking for is the boss at the end. Now uh, there's usually a group of players already like fighting him. And uh, he's pretty easy to take down if you have a group of players. So there he is. They're already attacking him. And we want to make our way over to him. And there we go. We have one player attacking him. And his health's going down pretty slow. Um, it looks like it's a slow day today. What level is this dude? He is level 20. And I'm level 21. So the boss is level 17. And again, you want to be just high enough to like take him on. Again, if you're level like 10 and there's no one else here, you're going to have some trouble. Um, but yeah, what you want from this dude is all his items. Now I mean every single item he drops. Um, like the flame essence, they sell for 500, and so does all um, the flame essence sells for 500, and the rest sells for like I think it's like 20 or 50 gold. But um, what you want to do is to sit here and farm. It is better when you have a group of players because that means you get to kill him a lot faster, so he's, you can spawn a lot faster, and you get more items, and it's just easier if you have a lot of people. So um. Yeah, and there we go. We killed him again, and what did we get? We got some more ingots. Um, again, he drops a sword and other stuff like that. Uh, you just want to pick everything he drops up. Um, it is useful if you have a clean inventory, unlike mine. So if you have an empty inventory, it's a lot easier to do this boss because you can just pick up all his items. Uh, they do, uh, they do have a cap, and I think it's like hundred for some most items. But um, yeah, once you do that. You can basically just sell. I, I already have some of the items. So he drops like the sword by here. You can sell. Which if I go to Cicero now. Wait let me go to travel up. I can't. I'm getting attacked. That's not good. That is not what I wanted. God damn it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to kill this dude again. Not not too much problem. But again this place is a lot easier. Once you have like a couple of players with you. Because yourself will go down a lot faster. And uh, he'll spawn a lot faster as well. And there we go. He dead. And it doesn't seem like I got a bag, or did I? I don't know. Nope, I didn't get a bag. <laughs> that's that's fine. So uh, let's go go to let's go back to Batlon. Let's go to Cicero. Why not? And let's go to his shop, and we can sell some stuff. Here's the shop. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. So yeah, the flame essence they only sell for 100 now. Oh well, I didn't know that. <laughs> so they sell for 100. The sword sells for 300, and you can just keep grinding this. So it's pretty easy to get gold. These are 50. Uh, the obsidians. I would suggest you keep these because you're going to need them for crafting armor and stuff. So keep them. And you can sell all the rest. Oh, sell that. Sell that. And there we go. 
pretty pretty easy way to make some gold um, again you do need to be a bit higher for this but um, yeah it's a nice way to make gold so the next way is a bit trickier because you're gonna need to craft an item it's called the powerful bomb and you want to use that in the rockage mine so if I go to my thing there we go slash join rockage mine and uh, we can we can go to there and um, this is in my opinion the best way to make gold this is how I got like almost one mil gold because um, it's it's easy and it's fun to do well fun for me I'm just weird <laughs> but what you want to do you want to make this item called the powerful bomb now you can just buy it for 200 DC which I suggest if you have like 200 DC spare um, or you can craft it but you're gonna need a lot of things you're gonna need a pickaxe for it uh, you're gonna need you know some crystal power and then the flame essence we got from uh, steel fang and some other things from some other monsters so um it's it takes a while to get and you need to wait 20 minutes or you can just buy it for 200 DC so uh, if you have that once you have that item you can go to him again and you want to go to his quest now avoid these two quests uh, especially I think it's this one do not do not do this one because uh, it takes the bomb off you and I don't know why I don't know why they did that but yeah they'll, they'll take the bomb off you we don't want that so um, yeah, we can go to here, and this is the quest we want: the spider, uh, crystal spider, spider crystal shards. That's it. Uh, yeah, click tra uh, track, so you can see your progress. And um, it's pretty easy. Um, it's easy if you have a morph, you can just speed run it. You can just do like this, you run into them, and then you want to click the bomb in the middle. Now this quest gives you 500 gold per run, and it's very easy to do. Uh, these are level 18, so make sure you're high enough not to get one tapped worm. So you can just click that. He is dead you're dead and go over here now other players can join you and if you work together you can have a nice time but if not they can really mess you up and just click on bombs before like anything appears so um yeah if you see a player you know say hello to him make friendly conversations and hopefully you guys can like work together to uh, get some gold so um yeah the spawn rate on these guys are not too bad you do have to wait a little bit like this there we go run into them um, and click the ball. Is he gonna die? There we go, dead. And you want to click on him, and then there we go. We get 500, 500 gold, and almost 1k XP. And you can keep doing that over and over and over. So um, this is the this is what I do to make gold. It's very easy, and um, I think it's fast, and it's okay if you have a group of players if they know what they're doing. Uh, but yeah, make sure you work together with the players because um, you can all have a nice time and get some gold together. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you some other daily bosses you can do, but it's going to require you to be a bit higher, so um, yeah. So the next daily I suggest you do, um, but this one you won't be able to do every day after you complete it. So for me, I've completed all the dailies, and um, basically what the daily does, it gives you a shard, a token, so you can unlock the uh, Dragon Slayer class. Uh, once you have enough of those, the dailies will stop, so um, make sure make sure you, you know, do this when you can because um, it gives you 2k gold and I think it gives you like 4k or like 6 I think it's 7k XP and uh, it's very easy to do um, I'll leave like I'll go to the AQ3D wiki and show you what you actually need to do for it um, basically you just need to kill like the roosters the dricken uh, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's called the roasted dricken yeah the roasted dricken and some fire enemies and it's pretty easy to do Again, you won't be able to do this all the time after you've um, after you've done it enough. It will just stop giving you the quests. But uh, it, it, it's gonna it's gonna take a while until it stops giving you the quests until you have like the class and all its armor. But um, yeah, another thing over here too, which is usually hard to do because it's like this. It's not usually a lot, a lot of players actually here to do it. But uh, if you go to the trophy hunting and the trophy hunting quest and the daily. You can do this quest, which is a Blood of Akaloth. Um This is the five-man version, which is easier to do, but the problem is finding actual people to do this. Um, you can do that, and then you can go to the advanced one, gives you that again. But uh, this is the extreme version, and uh, he's a lot harder, and you need a lot more players to do it. You can solo, you can solo both of these, but it's gonna take a while. And if you're gonna do that, I suggest you just go to. Uh, rocket mine and grind there or steel fang but um yeah that's for this is only for new players um obviously if you're a veteran player you'll probably know what to do and you probably have some better ideas 
Uh, but yeah, if you do have any better grind spots, let me know and uh, I can make a video on them if you want. So um, yeah. So guys, that's going to be it for the video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want because it all helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one.